Thank you very much, Paolo. Uh, I would like to thank to the organizers for this very nice conference uh, today, intense conversations and intense presentations. Um, I hope this panel will be interesting as well um, for all of you who came to, to see us right now. Um, I'm going to talk a, a little bit about the last elections in, in Spain. Uh, which took, uh, took place um, in 2011 and it was one of the last uh, electoral competition where the incumbent, uh, incumbent party, uh, in, this case, uh, in this case Social Democratic uh, left-wing party, uh, was punished uh, in the elections. Uh, that's the, the structure, it's, it's quite simple and it's, it's uh, as it used to be. Uh, I will start with the context. So, as I said, uh, general elections in Spain, uh, the, the PSOE, the, the, the Social Democratic Party, uh, got its worst uh, electoral result in its history after the, the transition to, to democracy. Uh, it was after eight years of, of, uh, of uh, government responsibility, there was certain fatigue in, uh, um, on both sides, uh, the politicians and, and the voters as well. Um, it was uh, in, the, in the context of, of great ec economic crisis, a huge unemployment, you know, uh, that's, that's the biggest, the harshest issue uh, in Spain right now. There are about 25% of uh, unemployment. So these were the, the most adverse uh, uh, conditions you can imagine for, uh, for the party to, to stand in, a, in an electoral context. Uh, speaking about economy, the evolution according to the to the Centro de, de Investigaciones Sociológicas, which is the polling institution, the official one, uh, about more than 90% of the people consider that, that, the, that the economic uh, situation got worse in the, in the last four years. Um, so there were uh, a consensus uh, among the people that they were really going bad. So in this context, uh, the Social Democratic Party lost about four, more than four million votes uh, with respect to, to the last elections in 2008, but on the other hand, uh, the Popular, Partido Popular, uh, which is the, the, the right-wing party, uh, improved only moderately. So uh, that's the context. Now the question is, uh, here you see the electoral results, so you see the, the loss of, uh, of the Social Democrats, and then you see that, that the transfer of the votes didn't go to, to the Partido Popular, which, is the, which would be logic in, in this context, but it went to either to, to Izquierda Unida, which is the left, more, more to the left uh, political party, or to the other parties, which are normally uh, smallest, either smallest national parties or uh, the nationalist parties uh, in, in País Vasco, in Catalonia. And, and there was a huge uh, abstention as, uh, as well. So uh, when analyzing the, the elections in, in Spain in, in this sense, there are kind of two or three uh, major approaches. One was the, taken by Marta Freile and uh, Mike Luis Beck, which was the, to show that there were uh, effectively uh, some, some kind of uh, economic retrospective voting that, mm, that the voters punished the, uh, the government party, and uh, they used uh, the, the they exogenized the economic perceptions, uh, put cross cross sectional design, and uh, the conclusion basically is that uh, even in this context, and even in the context where uh, almost everybody feels that that the economy went wrong, uh, that the economy matters for uh, the voters uh, for the voters' decision. Then there were some more qualitative studies. These are the typical. Uh, election electoral analyze, analysis. Uh, there are three of them. What, uh, what I find, and then uh, I went. I took another way, which is the uh, another possibility to, to see the elections. If you if you recall the, the situation I, I just described, so you have the, the Social Democratic Party losing about four million votes uh, with respect to 2008. Where did the people go? Who did they vote it? Who did they vote for? I mean. So, so what I'm interested in uh, are the factors that led the socialist electorate from 2008 uh, to abandon electorally in, or in electoral terms, uh, terms uh, the Social Democratic Party in, in 2011. 
So I, I, I kind of revised the, uh, the literature on, on voting behavior, uh, the recent studies, and try to test the rival uh, explanations, rival models uh, of voting behavior for the uh, social democratic voters from the 2008. So you have the question in, in, in the CIS, in the, I, would, I would say CIS just to be, um, for, for a reason to be brief, um, this is the, the, the polling institution. Uh, you have the, the question, who did you vote for in 2008? And then you have all the people. You take it out. Uh, I will come to, to that later. So there are basically five different explanations. There are competing explanations, but the, uh, the one uh, does not uh, preclude the other. So there is the question that, that was mentioned already today, uh, the question of crisis responsibility. Who's to blame? Is the government? Is the European Union? It's kind of exogenous shock that, that nobody's to blame for. Then the, the normal retrospective evaluation, uh, not in the economic terms, because for, for me the uh, the economic question does, does not work well. Uh, then uh, there's the, the balance issue. Then who's the, who's the one to, to handle the biggest problem the, uh, according to, to the people? So, so you, you, you have the unemployment, about 74% uh, of, the, of the people perceive that, that the worst problem is the unemployment, which is quite obvious. Uh, then there's the, the area that, that uh, stress is the, the importance of, uh, of the prime minister, of the new prime minister, or possibly new prime minister, uh, mm, all, the, all the stuff related to, to personalization of politics. And then uh, it's quite specific to, to the Spanish context, the Quinceme movement, which are, which are the people that, that mobilized uh, right before the elections, uh, and they had some requests uh, counter to to the, to the system, I would say. Uh, there were requests to, to change the electoral system, which they find uh, not just uh, uh, favoring the, the, biggest, the, the bigger parties, the Social Democratic and, and, and the Party Popular, and there were other re uh, requests, but I, won't, I will skip that. So, and the, the last thing, there are quite a few analysis of these elections. Uh, I think there is a book uh, being prepared about, about the last election in, in CIS as well. Um, so I just took the, the panel survey, uh, which we have the, uh, the good luck to, to have in Spain, uh, and took the uh, social democratic voters from 2008 and con constructed the, the dependent variable uh, as a nominal variable with the alternatives they had. Uh, in 2011. So you either voted for, your, for the Partido Popular, uh, Izquierda Unida, other small party, either nationalist or, or small party, you didn't go to vote, or you remain, remained uh, loyal to, to, to the Social Democratic Party. That, that's uh, the, the, uh, the category I take as, as reference. Uh, there you see the, the independent variables uh, as operationalized. Uh, by, the, by the questions uh, available in the, in the panel survey. Uh, I took the majority of them from the pre-electoral part uh, and the ones I needed and there were, the, they weren't in the pre-electoral part, I took from the post-electoral part. I used the multinomial logistic regression as, as is obvious because the, uh, the dependent variable is, is nominal and is, uh, there are more than two categories. When you see the results, um, what, what's striking is that there is one factor which I put as a, as a control variable, which is the proximity to, to the Social Democratic Party, as would be obvious because they were voters of, uh, of the Social Democratic Party in 2008. So uh, in, in every case, in every alternative, uh, when you feel uh, uh, when you feel close to, to the Social Democratic Party, there is uh, less probability that you, that you would vote for one of the other alternatives. And then, uh, what we see basically is that there are, there are different reasons uh, leading to, uh, to choose for the respective uh, alternatives, which is the main, uh, main result of, of this study. So, we, so you see the, the factors that led to, to, to leave the, the Social Democratic Party for uh, the Partido Popular, for the Izquierda Unida, for other small party, and uh, for the abstention. 
Um, to put it, here's the, the obligatory table. I don't think you see uh, what's there. So I, I did some simulations just to uh, visualize better uh, what is going on. So you, you see the, uh, the proximity to, to Social Democratic Party. You see on, the, on your right-hand side, uh, that's the red line, that's um, prob predicted probability to, to vote uh, Social Democratic Party when you feel closer uh, uh, to this party. You see that, that uh, the effect is, is huge. <coughs> then one of the main findings of, of the study is that uh, um, above all, in, or in particular in, in, in the qualitative studies, they were, uh, they were the variable of, of responsibility uh, as an important, uh, I would say, clue to, to decide the vote uh, for the Spaniards. In this case, you almost see uh, no effect of this, of this variable. I will come back to it later, but there is almost no, no, no effect, uh, which is quite surprising. Uh, then you see uh, two more variables, which is the evaluation for, for the, uh, for the uh, social democratic government. Uh, which is mainly important for, for the voters of the, of the other leftist party and for other parties. Uh, they, they punish the, uh, they, they leave the, the Social Democratic Party uh, to this uh, when they think that, uh, uh, that the Social Democratic Party uh, did uh, a bad job in the last four years. And then you see the, the capacity on, of unemployment. In this case, it's, it's really important uh, when you think that the, the Party of Popular uh, is the one uh, who's the best to, to handle the problem of the unemployment, which, is, which goes in line with the, with the previous findings that, uh, and, and what, what, what was uh, claimed by some authors that the Party of Popular, which is a right-wing party, it's more capable to handle the economic issues uh, as it was, uh, let's say, more general in, in Europe, this, this kind of perception. Uh, it's also important for, uh, for other parties and, and for, for the abstentionist, uh, this, this kind of issue. The last two things uh, which are important is the, 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 the figure, the, the personality of the next prime minister, uh, which is, when you, when you think it's, uh, it's Rajoy, which is the leader of the Partido Popular, uh, then, then you have more probability to, obviously, to vote uh, to, to this uh to Partido Popular, and it is also important for the abstentionists uh, that would uh, prefer to, to vote Rajoy, to, to be Rajoy the next prime minister, and uh, in the case of other parties, uh, they would prefer other person than uh, the two main leaders of the Social Democratic and the, and the right-wing party. Uh, the, the last one uh, is the scenario when, when, where the approval or how, the question is how sympathetic you feel with the Quince M movement. So in the case of uh, Izquierda Unida, which is the uh, more to the left party from, from the Social Democratic Party, there is a big effect uh, that those who are sympathetic with uh, the, the Quince M uh, went, to, went to the uh, to Izquierda Unida from the, the Social Democratic voters. So, uh, to conclude, there are different alternatives for the Social Democratic voters. It's important, the topic, because uh, right now, for example, the parties in kind of ideological renovation and the discussion of what went wrong, you know, they are in the middle of the, of the opposition term, they are uh, two years left for the next elections, and so they are talking about who's going to be the leader, uh, wh what are going to be the issues, uh, where do we stand. Um, so if one wants to understand better why did they, did they lose, uh, you have to analyze separately uh, the, the different options. The voters faced, the voters of, of the Social Democratic parties uh, faced in, in, in 2011, because what it seems from, from the data uh, is that there is a ceiling for the Partido Popular, which is around 10 million votes, which, which is not growing. It's, it's almost impossible even that it grows, uh, even in, in the context of, of the, mm, the, this, this uh, huge economic crisis and 25% of unemployment. So 
what seems to be is that you can, uh, the, uh, the Social Democratic Party either can lose or win the elections. Uh, there is rather smaller margin for the Partido Popular to uh, to win or uh, to win or lose, or to get some some new voters because it in, it got about uh, 700 voters in in 2011. So it's kind of combination of uh, short and long term factors. Uh, uh, the one of the variables that was that was put forward. Uh, by the analyst, the responsibility for the crisis does not look that important in, in this case for the for the soy voters. Uh, it justified the, the use of multinomial logistic. What I wanted, uh, what I want to say is, it's worth looking uh, to a more detailed detailed picture of uh, all the uh, all the alternatives the, the the social democratic voters had in 2011, and. To, uh, to to see what, what, what can be done, you know, uh, one is always asking. I would like to, if there is someone interested, of course, and, and knows the, these countries, to see if the reasons, because there's the table from, from the Leduc paper, uh, you see these are the, the cases where uh, the left wing party was punished and lost about 15 to 30 percent uh, from one election to another, and the direction was to from the left party to the to the right wing party. So it would be interesting to see was the was the uh, what are the reasons if these reasons are the same uh, between these cases between these countries. So to sum up, uh, it's important when when you feel uh, ideologically more to the center, you vote for the Partido Popular. So there are kind of uh, centrist, volatile voters that can be lost and that are ideologically a little bit uh, closer to the center that uh, the, the Social Democratic Party was capable to, uh, uh, to talk to in 2008, but they, they were lost in, in 2011. Uh, on the other extreme, uh, it wasn't uh, capable to, to retain uh, the more leftist voters, the voters who participated and who were sympathetic to, to the to the uh, Kinseme movement. And there is another thing, uh, and that's the last one. The abstentionists seem to be rather centrist, seem to be rather uh, to the right uh, from, the, from the social democratic, but they don't seem to be uh, the voters of, of, the pay, uh, of the Pepe, of the Partido Popular. So in this sense, maybe they are looking for a centrist alternative that could be one of the uh, one of the smallest part of smaller parties that could be uh, UPID, uh, whose leader is uh, is a former uh, social democratic uh, politician. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, comments, polemics, um, I'm ready to try to answer the. Later.